I was at the present at the time, yeah, and uh, I heard the claps. Well, I thought it was, I heard a crack. I thought it was clapping behind me as the Queen was going past. But he wouldn't clap, so someone made me look around, look at him, and seen the gun being pointed at the Queen. So uh, what I was, went towards him, like, to go, and then the crowd sort of closed in on the person with the weapon, and he came towards the, the fence, so I grabbed him by the hair, pulled him, and uh, we got him over the fence, and that was as far as, as far as it went. When the Queen came by, you know, in the corner, he just stepped backwards, you know, took about a half step backwards and uh, raised it up in his right hand and then, uh, you know, held it police marksman style and fired about four or five shots. Then what happened? Then there was, you know, like I said, about three of us that came in from his right and behind, you know, and got him over the railing into the street itself. And then the constables came and took him. Had you noticed him earlier? I'd seen him before, you know, all morning long. He'd been there longer than I had. And was I, there anything unusual about him? Just that he was alone, you know, by himself and didn't speak to anybody. How, did you, how would you describe him? Tall and about 6'1 and slender, with short brown hair and, you know, with the Charles and Diana button on the lapel of his coat. Yes, I was walking up from uh, Buckingham Palace, keeping a pace with Her Majesty, who I could see over the heads of the crowd. And I got to about here where I'm standing now, and all of a sudden I, I heard a noise, and I counted this noise six times, which I now realize to be six shots. Um, her Majesty seemed very, very scared. I saw a look of sort of fear pass over her face. Um, her horse, obviously frightened by the gunfire, or whatever it was, a cracker, um, reared. Then um, whoever was in the entourage immediately following her spurred forward to block Her Majesty um, from this side, from the side we're standing on. And um, she seemed to regain control of her horse and moved off towards horf, um, horse guards again. Ten to four, a Scotland Yard spokesman came out of Cannon Row Police Station and said that 17-year-old Marcus Simon Sargent, an unemployed youth from Folkestone in Kent, had been charged in connection with this morning's events. He said that the young man had been charged with willfully discharging a cartridge pistol in the vicinity of Her Majesty the Queen, intent on alarming her. And that is contrary to Section 2 of the 1842 Treason Act. Now, it's thought that this act has only been invoked once before, and that was in the 1930s in an incident with the Duke of Windsor on Constitution Hill. Sergeant has not been allowed bail and will appear at Bow Street Court on Monday. Jeremy Hans, ITN, at Cannon Row Police Station.